Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Food Corps is expanding into rural Kentucky and hopes to teach children valuable lessons about growing food. Plus, the Wigs for Kids car show took place during the weekend, bringing in more than 100 cars for a successful event. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfi. We are coming up on 5 a.m. on October 2nd. Now let's check in with Chief Forecaster Brandon Robinson for a look at your forecast this morning. Brandon, a beautiful week ahead, but once again, that fog is still just hanging around with us this morning. Yeah, and we're going to continue to see that for a little while today. A little bit of a special weather statement from the uh, weather service saying basically, hey, watch out for some dense fog through about, uh, I believe it's about 10 o'clock there. It's 9 o'clock actually though. So again, just kind of keep that in mind as you travel this morning. We go to our camera network and you can see outside the WIMT studios over toward Pikeville, over toward Jenkins, and up in the Buff Buffalo Mountain Valley there. It's pretty rough out there this morning. So give yourself plenty of time to get through there. 50 in Clintwood, 59 in Pikeville, 59 Moorhead, Somerset, 58 in London, 60 in Harlan. That's one of the warmest spots in the region this morning. So again, not too bad out there to start your day. A little extra on the coffee meter this morning as you head out the door and your out the door forecast features sunshine and almost like almost summer heat today as we top out excuse me in the low 80s there this afternoon should be a fairly nice day as we head into this Monday. Olivia. Brandon, thank you. Brianna Taylor's ex-boyfriend, the man who was at the center of a drug investigation that led to her death, is now behind bars. Jamarcus Glover faces charges of organized crimes and using children to traffic drugs, among others. St. Matthew's police took him into custody at a house in the Taylor Berry neighborhood. They say he was using the home as a base to sell drugs. Back in 2020, Glover's home was the focus of another investigation. That's when Brianna Taylor's apartment was raided, resulting in her death. Glover pleaded guilty to drug trafficking to avoid a prison sentence last year and was supposed to be on probation in Mississippi. Saturday, he posted on social media that he was back in town. The ATF and DEA was, are also investigating. Glover will be in court today. Food Corps has programs in more than 250 school districts in the country teaching kids about growing food. Officials have created a program with Perry County Schools to reach rural communities. WIMT's RJ Johnson has more. Trying to better food education in rural communities. This school year, Food Corps officials launched a new program with Perry County Schools to extend into the region. So the idea um, behind having Food Corps expanded Kentucky is that we represent their first rural location. Um, so the idea is that we are building this program um, to meet the needs of a rural community um, and seeing how that goes. Food Corps site supervisor Kirsten Webb says it has already been a success. Here they've only been at this for three weeks. Uh, you can see that Cyan already has raised beds, she has seedlings, um, and I think that speaks highly of um, our members and how dedicated and uh, they have been beautifully proactive and identifying ways that they can be involved. Food Corps service member Cyan Cox works directly with students in the program and she says creating better relationships between them and food is what it's all about. Part of what I've been seeing is just making those connections between like the ground and then what you eat after. He said a lot of kids do have experience with farming, like their loved ones farm, their families farm. Um, but having this kind of ownership, I think means a lot. For the kids to have that experience. Well, I think it can be really transformative because when kids see that they can like plant that little tiny seed and it can actually grow, that's like pretty magical, especially for a kid and then learning that they can then eat that. Planting one seed at a time. Cox and Webb say they are excited for the future this program holds. In Perry County, RJ Johnson, WIMT Mountain News. Webb says other school district officials have expressed interest in the program. She says once everything is grown, they hope to use the garden to create a communal space to let students take produce home with them. 
Downtown Cynthiana was home to Saturday's Witches Day Out Festival. The event aims to raise money for various charitable causes while bringing in the fall season. But this year's festival, festival organizers say it was met with some backlash. So more or less they were talking about uh, how witches and witches festival were not in the Bible and they were calling name calling a lot of us heathens and sinners. And the group did eventually leave the event. White says Cynthiana police is looking further into the incident. The 8th annual Wigs for Kids car show was Saturday outside of Perry Central and raised nearly $6,000 that will help kids with hair loss get wigs. Event organizer John Roberts says the first year they hosted the event, they only had five cars. Eight years later, they have more than they have ever seen. He says it is great to help kids in need. And even though I may never know a child who goes through cancer alopecia, I know there's a lot of kids that go through it and would like a wig. And I love cars, so I started a car show. Um, we've been doing it eight years. It's grown every year. Um, so right now, this year, uh, we are up to 115 cars today, um, which is up from 106 last year. Robert says you do not have to give a lot of money to help. He says every dollar goes towards the cause of helping kids get wigs. People in Barbersville, West Virginia woke up a little earlier than usual this weekend to help improve their community and enjoy a delicious breakfast. The Barbersville Lion Club hosted their pancake breakfast Saturday morning at the Senior Center. Members started serving pancakes and sausages as early as 7 o'clock. The funds raised will go to scholarships for Cabell Midland students as well as providing eyeglasses and exams, which is the primary focus of the Lion club it gives you a real great feeling in your heart knowing that we're supposed to as believers in Christ we're supposed to be supporting uh, our fellow man however we can and taking taking looking trying to look after some of their needs too an adult ticket cost eight dollars a ticket for kids up to 12 cost six and children under four years old got in free Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, we'll take a look at Special Olympics Kentucky, which started its flag football season with the first of three tournaments for the Commonwealth. And the forecast is going to feel more like summer than fall this week as temps heat up in the afternoon. We'll have the latest in about three minutes.